The team at Dungarees know the hardest workers pack the biggest appetites. They've teamed up with me, Chef Jonathan Collins from The Outdoor Chef, to bring you simple, handcrafted recipes for hardworking men and women. Whether you're hosting the big game or cooking for an entire campsite, maybe you're cooking something that you've recently hunted or firing up the barbecue in the backyard, we've got recipes that hungry people will love to cook and eat. Getting outdoors away from the craziness of the modern world can do wonders for your soul. My favorite part of camping is the campfire and the conversations that happen around it. It's all about food and it's all about family. Today's campsite recipe is not only simple and delicious, but it'll make your fellow campers forget they're miles from a kitchen. best parts of campfire cooking is the incredible flavor that comes from the smoke and the wood. What I've got in front of me is a couple beautiful roaster chickens and there's nothing quite like rotisserie chicken over that campfire. Now I'm going to take a simple stick whittled to a point at one end and two yards about six feet of simple inexpensive chain and I'm going to turn this tripod into a rotisserie. I'm going to use fresh orange fresh thyme and rosemary, a jerk spice rub, and some beautiful herb salt. All of these things together and a little bit of time, and I'm gonna have the perfect roast chicken. With the cavities seasoned, it's important to get that seasoning inside as well as outside. I'm gonna start by adding some rosemary, and some time to both. Now what's gonna happen is as the chicken heats up, all of those oils will be released and it will permeate the beautiful flesh. Now, when I started the fire, I was sure to start 60 minutes, at least 60 minutes ahead of time. And that's because by the time I put the chickens over top of the fire, I want the flames to have died down and I just want those white hot coals. Now, back to stuffing. You'll notice that I put the chickens on the skewer before stuffing them so I don't have to struggle with that stuffing. Now it's time to get the outside spiced and to get them tied up. So as you can see, the beauty of this system is depending on the heat of the fire, you can easily raise and lower your rotisserie. The other thing that I love about this is as long as you make sure to snug those legs to the stick, it'll allow you to turn it, especially when you want to get it self-basting. I mean, that's the reality when you're doing rotisserie is that whatever you've got on here, and in this case, that beautiful chicken fat is going to be self-basting the whole time. Keep your eyes on it and make sure you keep the flames down and those coals nice and white and hot. A really good indication for temperature is when you begin to see the fat rolling off those wing tips. I'm just gonna turn this to the side so you can see. The flavor development is already going on. Now, this fire is great temperature, but if I don't continue to feed it at this point with some small sticks, and then what I've got is I've got wine barrel chunks. So whether this is hickory, mesquite, or whatever your favorite is, this oak is gonna add some heat, and I'm gonna start getting some smoke to come up, and all of that incredible flavor is gonna be right inside that beautiful roasted chicken. Look at that. Well, this is that 
pictures worth a thousand words moment. Have a look at these incredible roast chicken. Look at the mechanism and how deadly simple this is. We're able to take just a stick from the woods here, take the bark off, sharpen that end and look at this finish. Now, I've got an orange. We've got orange on the inside. Let's go with a little bit of orange on the outside. I'm just gonna take and squeeze that over top to finish. What's that gonna do? That is gonna make that nice and golden brown. Finish up anything that uh, hasn't been done just yet. Now I'm gonna turn that over and let that just baste. Look at that incredible chicken. This, for the campfire, I'm telling you, this is two chickens. You could have 10 chickens like this. This is something you have to try. Thanks for checking out this recipe. You can download a printable version of the full recipe by going to dungarees.com backslash recipes. And don't forget to check out the other recipes in this delicious series. Until then, remember, in the kitchen, slow is smooth and smooth is fast.